Vienna, capital of the Austrian-Hungarian Empire, cultural center of Europe, home of Mahler, Brahms, Klimt, the Strausses, liberalism, and one Theodore Herzl. He was born in Budapest in 1860, but in 1878, the family moved to Vienna, where, after studying law, Herzl decided to become a playwright and then a journalist. He loved German culture and wanted to be a part of it. But Vienna had a dark side. It harbored anti-Semitism, and that force, more than anything else, would end up shaping Herzl's life. Creatures. Cool. 
quiet, decent, timorous, like most our people. His holy things cannot improve, God get worse to the massacre. published in 1896. It was a plan of action to establish the Jewish state. In 1902, Old New Land appeared in bookstores. That novel took us to an already established Jewish state, as imagined by Herzl. Let us revisit Herzl's plan and vision.
The Jewish state caused a brief stir in Vienna. The reaction was shock. Herzl traveled to Constantinople to try to acquire land for the Jewish settlement, but the Sultan did not receive him. Edmund de Rothschild did not help him. Negotiations with Turkey were stalled, but his name had become known and he convened the first Zionist Congress to push the movement forward. It was to be a black tie affair a true representation of a Jewish Congress in exile. Happiness, culture, 
money you have, the matter needs careful study, much discussion.
let us save those that still can be saved. The British offer us Uganda. It's not Zion, but the way station. Accept it, but don't renounce. Now But Herzl, like Moses, would not live to see his work finished. He passed away one year later in 1904 at age 44. However, Jews had started to arrive at the Beirut Villiette and the Mutasarafate of Jerusalem of the Ottoman Empire since 1881, victims of oppressive laws, pogroms, economic hardship, and persecution in Eastern Europe and Yemen. It required a special kind of person, a committed idealist, to transform the land and to endure the weather, the poverty, and the malaria. Many people attempted the trip and returned to their places of origin, but many Chalutzim and Chalutzot were up to the task. <laughs> 